when it's that means we got to do stupider and stupider stuff on stream yeah. to make sure that there's a lot of uh, a lot of variety to pull from. Anyway, getting into this match going to be HO3K Frozen versus HO3K Dill. Um, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Let me, let me uh, hear so your this matchup is pretty good for Palutena. Uh, the way Dill likes to say, Wait likes to put it, is that it's four six for Rob, but. Uh, and so like every but every time that like there's a misstep on either one, it's just worse for Rob. So like it can he it can slowly like snowball just against him. But uh, the way Rob plays in general is like he's a he smothers you to death. You know he has an iron grip on that pillow. You are not getting up. <laughs> just so you know I, the reason why sometimes you get through that pillow is that the shield has trampled and. You know, that can really be a big deal for him. Also, he still has some Sleep difficulty landing. Sleep with a shield under your pillow at night, kids. Yeah. But he still has, like, difficulty, some difficulty landing. Uh, like, he, it's kind of a little bit linear with, like, how he's going to come down with Nair and stuff like that. And uh, Pal is just a very fast character. With long-lasting hitboxes. Man, you got to appreciate how Dill, like, knows the exact timing when neutral air is going to like end in the air because he neutral airs and then just grabs the ledge like he knew the exact timing because a lot of moves have a uh, after the hitbox is gone you still can't grab a ledge you know mm -hmm. so just, he really obviously knows this character so well but sometimes knowing your own character well doesn't matter that much or doesn't matter enough rather because he is still behind this possibly could be big. I think he starts to go for 50-50. He gets it, and the DI from Frozen is so good. Battlefield coming in clutch for him. Definitely. Super clutch, considering that he now has taken that first stock. And the difference between losing your first stock against Dill? Oh, my oh, yeah. God. It's just... Uh, yeah, no, it's a really important thing now that, like, if Dill now takes the stock, right, he's only going to be evening it up. Because, like, a stock down versus Dill is just, like... I... Uh, he, it's, a, it's a bad time, man. Yeah, I, I, I wish on some of my enemies. Dill, Dill is absolutely like one of the best players I've ever seen when he has a stock lead. And there are a lot of people who are good with a stock lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dill definitely knows how to play an advantage really well. But anyway, uh, evening up those percents. So, uh, you know, getting another chance to get that stock lead. But Frozen not going out without a fight. Right now, keeping this lead. Ooh, Ooh the I like that edge guard. And that late hit on that up smash, really doing wonders for Frozen. 97% and growing. However, it is important to keep in mind, Battlefield is a big stage, and Dill lasted to about 170 last yeah. time. It, we didn't dwell on it too much because, you know, just eventually he killed solidly. Rob but, uh, is a big character, and uh, he's the same weight as Snake, just for, like, good reference of, like, how heavy he is. Snake is that heavy? Snake, Rob, and Banjo-Kazooie. Ooh. All right. Frozen is saying, this is my stage. Oh, that is not the trade you want. It was an amazing snipe from Dill, but a snipe at what cost? That's yeah. like the sniper who gave away his position, you know? He's like, yeah, I hit him in the knee. Now you're dead to a ex literal explosion. All right. So. And that, oh, that confirmed it actually took the stock. I don't even know if that was a DI issue. I think... Frozen was just gone at that point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the replay real quick. So like he hit him with the nair, and then yeah, no, he died out. He was, he's just dead. Uh, he did get him fairly high. Anyway, 90 damage. Uh, Frozen has been in control this whole game. Like Dill has been like keeping it like <laughs> as close as he can, but Frozen has just been in the driver's seat this entire time. And you know, it feels like uh, Dill has up in this matchup. Dill has had to be so creative in disadvantage. When he's off stage, when he's on the ledge, you notice that he's doing tons of stalling. Throw, it feels like he throws out a different aerial every time. We, oh. just a moment ago, he used back air to cross him up from the ledge. Like, that was, I've never seen that before. But Frozen clearly had, because he actually punished him for it. Which just goes to show how much is it required from Rob to <gasps> really stay in, alive, even. And that's it. No, just barely surviving, but the same thing as before. The double. You know the funny thing? I actually once talked to Dylan. He said that. 
He tries to never die to the same thing twice. Yeah. Like, it's very, it's surprisingly easy to do that. It's surprisingly easy to not die to the same thing twice. Uh, but right think there, contrary to his own wisdom, nah. the exact same situation happened. I would, I would say that that was all still the same interaction, and they didn't, like, end up, like, resetting to it. So it was just like, haha, you may have dodged this, but... It just puts you right into my trap for this. Well, no, because, <laughs> because he, he shot the gyro. Yeah. So it's like he just shouldn't be shooting gyro from that. From that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just like, ah, you thought you were ready for this, but I read, I anticipated this, and I will punish you with the same fireball. One, go. And he's just like, I'm out of gyros. Anyway, so uh, game one going to Frozen. Frozen got rid of FD and Town. So, Dill opted in to pick Kalos. Uh, this is like Dill's go-to counter pick stage. Or, honestly, like, it's usually like Kalos or Town that I see him go for a lot. Uh, what, is that because it's like FD-ish, but with platforms? Uh, I'm not super sure. Uh, I, I mean, wouldn't be able to speak on that authority. But these stages, Ooh. both of them do have higher ceilings, correct? Yes, the stage has Which, a very high ceiling. But that's kind of... I, I mean, for Rob, I guess it would help him survive against things like Palutena up air. But he himself, he loves to kill off the top. As we I saw, there was that pivotal moment in that first stock where his up air didn't kill. I think it kind of boils down to, well, I don't think these stages have as high as, as, high as uh, Blast Zone as Battlefield, but I may be wrong. But yes, I but think I'm it kind of boils down to the fact it's just like, Rob is like, his, his down throw up air is like so strong that normally, normally it will usually pretty consistently kill so like while battlefield kind of that last time was a bit of a fringe example uh he's like i'm heavy you can't kill me off the top i'm i'm heavy as hell see All right. yep at the same time though like oh geez that's done great read on frozen's part he also Just had extended hitbox because he hit the gyro I mean, that's, once again, matchup knowledge. These two play a lot, quite a bit. And, yep. uh, I mean, you don't play against a character like Robaton without learning some of those cheeky things. <gasps> he has no jump. Oh, but forward smash, he just went through the beam. Hitbox wasn't active at that moment. Yeah, he did the, the F smash a little bit too early. And so it was already disappearing at that point. The lights were fading. Man, I'm always so nervous about Rob's fuel, but definitely Tilt keeps track of this sort of thing because he is always confident off stage. Yeah. And nope. this is looking like a totally different story than that game one. 124% onto Frozen. He is. There are lots. I mean, a grab at this percent might kill. Now I think grab will definitely kill. And the neutral air to finish the job. Beautiful ledge trapping right there, just putting out so many hitboxes, so much scary pressure, and then eventually actually hits that panic option. Uh, I believe that was a jump that got caught. So that's gonna be an entire, and here's where we get to see that Stockley Dill. Oh man, I'm really liking the just placement that uh, Dill is doing here. He stands at this distance where he's totally comfortable throwing out an option without fear of Palutena actually getting to him in time. Oh, he went for that super hard read, but it just wasn't actually, like, I feel like Dill wasn't scared enough to get caught by it, you know? Oh, but right there, that up air going to be sealing Dill's fate on that second stock, meaning that this is a last stock situation. And although there's a lot of percent on Frozen, there's a lot he has to be scared of, uh, nonetheless, Palutena has great damage output, mainly with that Nair. And the neutral in general, like, if if Frozen just plays well, and his movement is one of his best aspects, so, like, if he starts moving like there's no tomorrow, he could very easily not get hit for a super long time. That's kind of what we're seeing right now in terms of the damage output between these two. Dill has already taken 80%. And being on the ledge right there, he's actually in the danger zone. That's it. 
No, he lives! That higher ceiling really working out for Dill. And that's huge because now he yeah. has stage control, is in control, it feels. But, oh man, trapped above him. Frozen finally getting a little bit of leeway onto the stage. Oh, this is spooky. Oh, oh, that should be it. Down throw, he has to read it. Gets the up smash. There we have Dill taking game two <laughs> after barely surviving an up air. What? That was at like 90, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen almost taking the set. Literal inches away from the blast zone uh, he sent him. Too close, but wasn't able to close it out. I was actually, I would have been pretty happy for Frozen because I know that Dill has been kind of a demon for him. But uh, we're going to go back to Battlefield. Dill got rid of uh, PS2 and Yoshi's. I totally get, rid get getting rid of Yoshi's because it just has a lower ceiling and it's Battlefield. So, like, yeah, you, like if you're you going to have you Frozen, get, like, flying around. And, and you can see that Frozen oh. kind of picked the Battlefield. So, uh... Oh my god, Zomba, are we on point nine? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Specifically for this. Anyway, uh, back to Battlefield. Uh, now, this... I, I did think it was kind of interesting that they started on Battlefield Game 1 because I, I think it's just such a comfort stage for Frozen. Uh, granted, this is a really good stage for Rob, too, because he has one gyro uh, thing that he can do on the stage where if he does a, like, short hop... Uh, if he does a short hop, like, B reverse thing with the gyro, he kind of just did it there. What? Is that he'll shoot it at the platform and it'll, like, stop short so it doesn't go the full distance. Now, one thing that's worth noting, it seems like Dill is shielding a lot more this game. He's already gotten quite a few out of shield punishes. Right there, he actually shielded the neutral air, but wasn't able to get the uh, effective punish that he really needed in that situation. Oh my god. Okay. Just like barely hanging out there. Yeah. And but the one risk of like shielding a lot against Palutena. <laughs> just just take it from one side to the other. You know. Little rod things. Delivery. <laughs> Man, right. I wish I wish that like the Amazon drones delivered like that, just scooting it on the ground to me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Y your package arrives at go percent. I'd feel so <laughs> Anyway. I'd feel so less threatened. So uh, right now, Frozen definitely knocking on uh, Death's door, but he has stage so advantage. Oh! Did you see how he? Did you see how he footstooled so him? Far. He baited him down there, and he got the Phantom footstool to give him the height to just straight recover. Okay, that was so, so smart from Dill. Now we're finally seeing uh, what we were talking about since game one. Dill with a stock lead, and oh my God, is he is he cashing in on it right now? Oh my God, who gets hit by that angle of laser? When Dill gets inside your head, this is dumb. Oh, oh no! Wow. You want to talk about Dill with a stock lead? Because I'd rather talk about with a talk about Dill with a two stock lead. God, Frozen, you were inches did. away from winning. Literal inches. Oh. Oh my god. And now god. this is just. Yeah. This is not a good time. Uh, and you can see that now Frozen is kind of getting eager, and. Dill recognizes that, just like, moves backwards, that's it. He's just like, okay, let me move backwards, you're gonna hit where I am instead of where I'm gonna be. Did you see the spacing, that back air displacing him so he didn't get hit by that? Oh man, the, just the recoveries, the off stage stuff that Dill has been doing, and now he's actually going aggressive. All right, in the end, Frozen finally takes his first stock, but that might be one of those too little, too late scenarios. 22% is... is if there's any character where too little, too late might not apply, it's Palutena. That Pal is true. But I, I... If he gets his movement right and just, like, throws Dill off his rhythm, oh my lord. Or, you know what? You know what? Never mind. I, I think it might be over. Ooh, He's alive! Battlefield, baby! That's the second oh, time. No. Oh, That's death. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Frozen, you know, you That's saw. That's that time. He was so close. He was so close to winning that set. But in the end, it's going to be Dill moving on to face off against the Buzz in the finals.
So I think we'll see 